Hey everybody, once again I'm back. We're getting closer to Christmas. Um, today I am drinking a Shackleberry Cider called the Vermonter. I've never had this one before. I'm out of seltzers, I am in the Christmas spirit, I am out of vodka. Um, the only thing I have is whiskey, it's a little too early for me to drink that. If you want to see my whiskey reviews of the Advent Calendar, follow me on TikTok. I've been doing one every night. I want to start, as I said, it's, it's just a few weeks to Christmas. Just a few weeks to Christmas. And I have to get today's newspaper. Today's newspaper, it, the newspaper loves to go after the police. They like, it's one of their favorite hobbies. The police and teachers, how much money they make and how they do everything wrong. So today it was how two mentally disturbed people were killed, unfortunately, by the police and the police were cleared of any wrongdoing. Well, you know what? It's, it's a hard damn job. It's a hard job. Um, apparently they were wrestling the guys. They weren't cooperating. It was a big thing. You know what? It sucks. I'm sure they didn't go out and wake up one day. So let's, let's just kill some mentally impaired men. Um, it's horrible. But, but, but can you lay off the guys? If, if Next time you get up to go to work, thank God that you don't need to put on a bulletproof vest and have a gun strapped to your side with a bunch of ingrates who don't care about you and don't care if you live or die because they say it's just part of the job. It's nonsense. We need to get back to respecting the men in blue and the police. Do you know what? 99.9% .9 of them are good people. So stop the crap already, Newsday, because we've had enough of it. I need a drink after that one. That's okay. Okay for a cider. It tastes like all a cider. Now, everybody this week, everybody knows about Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner was exchanged for the Lord of Death. The death dealer, the merchant of death. He was such an infamous arms dealer, the most, the most incredible arms dealer of our lifetime that they've written books and they made a movie where Nicolas Cage starred. They made a movie after this guy. He plotted to kill Americans and kill American diplomats and ambassadors, everything. But yet he was worth the two-time NBA who disrespected the United States and didn't even want the national anthem played in the game. Now, I don't want you to be confused. I am not unhappy she is home. Any American in jail, for whatever reason, in a foreign country, we'd like to get them home. We'd like to bring Americans home because they're Americans. I am not so petty and filled with hate. I'm actually filled with a lot of love that I don't want these people back. However, we cannot trade. We cannot trade this arms deal in the midst of a Ukrainian war back to Russia. You know, I am sick of hearing, tired of hearing these Democrats talk about gun control. We're giving Ukraine guns, 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 and more guns. Now we just released the, the, the greatest dealer of guns in history. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's insane. Now, now let's face it. Everybody wants to compare Brittany Griner to Paul Whale and the dishonorably discharged Marine. Now, there are facts that need to be... Um, need to be out in front of it. He wasn't dishonorably discharged with I'm not sure that makes him a veteran anymore, but he did serve. They want to attack this guy, Paul Whalen, because he has, apparently, he is a resident or a citizen of multiple countries, um, and he's not a good guy. I don't know anything about anything about Paul Whalen except what I read, but I do know there's another guy over there, Mark Fogel, who also had medical marijuana for a recent spinal surgery and didn't know it wasn't allowed. This white 61-year-old man has been in jail and been detained unjustly, justly, whatever you want to call it, for far longer than Brittany Griner. But you know what he doesn't do? He doesn't check off boxes. He doesn't check off the lesbian box. He doesn't check off the black box. He doesn't check off the female box. He doesn't check off the activist box. He doesn't check off the Biden supporter box. So he doesn't check off any of these boxes. Anybody who thinks she wasn't the priority because of the NBA, because of the color of her skin, her sexual orientation, and everything I just said, you're out of your mind. You need another drink or five or six. It's insane. She is no more important than Whalen or Fogel. I would say she's less important because she hasn't been there as long. And if rumors are true that Biden had a choice between two people and she was chosen, we know why she was chosen. The press secretary said it herself. 
She's a very important because she's a role model to the LBGT and people of color and women. That's why she is out first. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. And once again, good for her and her family. Nobody should have to be put through that. Nobody. I don't care. Unless you sexually abuse children, then there's a special place in hell for you. It, it, it really, really is insane. I never want to hear about white privilege, male white privilege ever again, because apparently it didn't work out in this situation. It was actually the reverse. So if you're telling me that the world is systematically racist, especially here in the United States, how is she there and a white guy still imprisoned? Doesn't make sense to me. I think the, the, the celebrity black gay privilege that she has got her out. I'm just keeping it real, everybody. I'm just keeping it real. It, it, you know, it, it really is insane. Now, Joe has been quiet this week. He's been pretty quiet. They're probably trying to brief him on the Brittany Griner stuff, and he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know the NBA from the NHL from the MLB. He doesn't know anything. He knows this is some tall black woman and man that's, that's in jail. But he went out and he spoke the other day, and he gave a little conference about gay union. I'm surprised he didn't ask what number local they were. Gay union. I didn't even know what he was talking about. But it, apparently he's been a supporter of gays getting married for years, which is untrue because he's on record in several interviews saying that the sanctity of marriage is between man and woman. But he may have forgot that. But once again, just really surprised. This, what is that? Local 13? Local, local, local 69? Who knows what local it is? Gay union, Joe. Please, hopefully we get some more tidbits from you. Maybe you're chasing Santa around the next couple of weeks. We certainly know you're not sending any gifts to that grandchild you don't uh, even acknowledge by your, your, your son Hunter and his, and his prostitute girlfriend. Not there's anything wrong with being a prostitute, that's her choice. No problem with sex workers if that's their choice. It, it really is something else. But Governor Newsom, Governor Newsom is going above and beyond these days. He's going above and beyond. I think he's setting up his future voters for his run for president in 2024, whenever he's planning on running. Because he, they're planning in California. There's some things going on in California. Let me see the number here. They want to give $233,000 to anybody who is a descendant of a slave. Paid by people who weren't slaves in a state that didn't have slavery. I'll tell you, you know what the reparations for slavery were? And I'm against reparations. The reparations for slavery were all the men that died and paid in blood. Those are the reparations so we could have freedom here in the country for everybody. Everybody is equal here. Everybody has just as much a chance as the next guy. You got to take it to bull by the horns. So I don't know if I can say it anymore. It's probably very PC. The non-binary animal that goes moo or whatever sound a cow or a, a bull makes by the horns and move forward and make your own destiny. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. But it really, really, really is crazy. The world is crazy. I have a woman down south somewhere. She's suing Velveeta Cheese. Suing Velveeta Cheese. Now, what could Velveeta Cheese couldn't do? She didn't work for Velveeta, so it's nothing work-related. She didn't get injured by anything about Velveeta. She's suing Velveeta Cheese because the false claim that the macaroni and cheese is not ready in three and a half minutes. Really? First of all, what is wrong with you? Three and a half minutes. And second of all, what attorney's taking this case? What attorney? You know what, Velveeta? Change the box. Five minutes. Give her a couple dozen uh, boxes of Velveeta cheese and tell her to get on her way. Is this really what we're doing? The judge has got to look at this and, and see just a frivolous lawsuit and say, get the hell out of my court. I mean, people are really, really insane. Really insane. You know, it's it just me like, I, I look at Netflix now, right? And I see this Harry and Meghan documentaries, number one in the country. Everybody wants to see it. Who cares? Who cares? I don't understand the fascination. Now, first of all, Meghan Markle plays the race card like no, no, nobody's business. I look at Meghan Markle and I see a woman who's, who's marginally attractive. I'm not going to lie. I think she's an attractive woman. But I couldn't tell you if she was black, white, Latino, Asian, Israeli. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what her race was until she made a huge deal of it. And I think it's funny that, or ironic, that she wasn't really raised by her father, who is the black man. So it's not like her roots are dug deep into black culture. She can identify as black and she is a woman of color. I'm not going to deny it. But I don't know. I don't know why is everything need to be about color. How about you just a, a narcissistic, horrible human being? And one day Harry's going to look at this when you run on your merry way with your two or three kids that you have and your billions of dollars and your kids are going to still be royalty. Harry's going to go, what the did I do with my life with this lunatic? I, I'm just saying it's insane. 
But we got to get off it. I don't care. I don't care. And I don't know how anybody does. We in America, we fought to be free from this. Another story in the news that I think is a little bizarre. Here in Long Island, a couple of years ago, a, uh, there was a gang fight. Um, a white guy stabbed a black guy in the fight. At the time, they were 18 years old. The kid brings a knife to a fight. He brings a knife, had it in his hand, and allegedly he said he punched the kid a couple of times, stabbed and wound up three times, one time punctured his heart. Accident? It was an accident? I'm appealing. It's an accident. It didn't mean to do it. It wasn't murder. I have to tell you something. It wasn't murder. It wasn't murder? I'll tell you even more. It wasn't accident. It wasn't a mistake. The second you made a decision to bring a knife to the fight and bring it to the fight, put it in your hand and start throwing punches, it was no accident. It was no accident. You may not have intended to kill him, but you certainly intended to stab him. And you stabbed him several times. You're a horrible human being, and this is why we need the death penalty. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how old you are. This one is justice, and this is not about color. This is about right and wrong. That poor family lost their son because you thought you were going to be a tough guy and bring a knife to a fight and just, oh, my bad. Accident was a mistake. Didn't mean to do it. You're full of shit. Just saying. Now, article in the American Psychiatric Association Journal that said traditional masculinity has officially been labeled harmful. Harmful. Masculinity. Being a man. Masculinity, telling people around them as a man, being comfortable in your skin, to be emotional, to give them a hug, to open the door for a woman, to walk next to the street while your woman walks on the other side of the sidewalk. That's masculinity. Masculinity is being able to accept who you are and be a man and provide for your family and protect the people you love and also show them you love. Apparently that's harmful for society. So why the new generation right now is deciding if they want to be masculine, not masculine, male, female, binary, Martian, sheep, cat. Who the hell knows what? Maybe the Christmas tree they want to be. Who knows what these kids are identifying as? The world is laughing at us as they are bringing balls back. Not only are they going to have men, they're going to have women who are stronger, tougher, emotionally, physically than the men that we're breeding now. We need to bring balls back and get our heads out of our asses. Enough of this. Enough of this nonsense. The continuation of emasculating men needs to end now. That's what I want for Christmas, Santa. End of emasculation. I drink some more. Hey, it's funny. As I'm sitting here drinking ciders. For those of you who don't know, I can't drink beer. I drink a lot of whiskey, though. So, <laughs> ciders during the day, whiskey and the hard stuff at night. Oh, my God. Another article. Medically assisted deaths could save millions in healthcare. Let's just kill these old buggers for a couple of bucks. Who's doing these studies? I mean, and what is the purpose? Let's kill our old folk. Let, let's kill the generations that come before us because we'd save a couple of bucks. I do think that COVID, part of the reason we had COVID is it was developed to get rid of some of the older population. We want to thin out the herd because it certainly didn't thin out the stupid. They're there in droves. Hopefully they're all getting vasectomies like they, have, they promised us to and they're not going to be there much longer. It's insane. Picking up the squirrels the other day, it was about 35 degrees. I was in a pair of shorts, a uh, sweatshirt, and a pair of slides. And I heard one of the moms say to the other moms, hey, look at that guy. I, I hear you. I I'm, I'm, I'm not wearing earmuffs. I'm not wearing noise-canceling headphones. And you know what? Who cares? I look better than you look anyway at 53 years old, no hair, in a pair of shorts, flip-flops, and a sweatshirt. Maybe go get your hair and nails done. Stop worried about me. Unbelievable. Quick question before I go. Now that Christmas is coming up, we think Santa can still say ho, ho, ho without offending the hoes? I don't know. Prostitutes be offended? Let's be politically correct here. Now it's Christmas time coming up a couple weeks. I think I have two more um, before Christmas time, everybody, get your Christmas shopping done. Enjoy the holidays. Find somebody you love and tell them you love them. Most important words in English language. I love you. Please share. Please hit that button like. Give me the thumbs up. I'm begging you. I'm begging you at this point. Give me that for Christmas. Love you all. Cheers.